Here are five key facts about COVID-19 that everyone should know about to understand the disease better and to be better able to protect ourselves and hasten the recovery of our community and our nation. For more tips on COVID-19 and to spread the word about this important information, please consider subscribing to this channel, click the bell for notifications, click the share button and share it with at least two or three friends so they can spread the information too. Hi, this is Dr. Shintani for your health. Here are five key facts that we should all know about this disease that'll help you understand what to do and why to stay safe from COVID-19. Number five might be the most important. Key fact number one, COVID is not the flu. I can't emphasize this enough. COVID is not the flu. It's a type of SARS virus or one that causes sudden acute respiratory syndrome. I've heard a lot of people say that it's just another flu. But it's not. It's a coronavirus like SARS or MERS, also known as Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, that killed a lot of people. It's much worse than the flu, although the symptoms are similar in that they both have in common cough, fever, shortness of breath, and can cause pneumonia. COVID-19 is at least 10 times deadlier than the flu, but that doesn't tell the whole story. This is based on the estimated mortality of 1% for COVID-19 compared to 0.1% for the flu. As people get older, the mortality goes up. For someone 75 to 85 years old, it's up to 40 times deadlier. And for those over 85, it's 100 times deadlier than the flu, as data show that the death rates in these categories are over 4% for those 75 to 85 and over 10% of cases for those over 85 years old. Key fact number two, not only is COVID-19 more deadly than the flu, it's much more contagious than the flu. The flu has a contagion rating referred to as the r naught or reproductive number of 1.3, meaning that the average person will infect 1.3 others, and those 1.3 people will go on to infect 1.3 others, and so forth. This means, for example, if the flu is passed on for eight cycles at this rate, around 19 people will be infected. And with a 0.1% rate of death, or one in a thousand, we will probably have no deaths. COVID-19, however, has a much higher contagion rating at 5.7. This means that a typical infected person will infect 5.7 others. And each of those 5.7 people will tend to pass it on to another 5.7 people, and so on and so forth. If it is passed on in this way for eight cycles, 1.3 million people would be infected. And at the rate of 1% mortality, you'll have 13,000 deaths in a very short time. This is why the death rates in China, Italy, and the U.S. rose so quickly, and why mitigation had to take place as quickly as possible. Key fact number three, in addition, unlike the flu, in its severe cases, it routinely causes what is called a cytokine storm. Cytokines are microhormones that cause inflammation and activation of our immune systems. Ordinarily, this is useful to fight viruses and other pathogens, but COVID-19 can often cause an overreaction. This storm of cytokines causes the body to have a massive inflammatory reaction that can cause damage and destruction of lung tissue and causes a sudden drop in oxygen saturation. This is what requires patients to be hospitalized and put on ventilators. Key fact number four. Besides age, common risk factors for poor outcomes for those with COVID-19 include obesity, heart disease, diabetes, lung disease, hypertension, and cancer. People who have these conditions have a much higher risk of death from COVID-19 than those with none of these diseases. For example, someone with heart disease has a more than 10 times greater risk of dying of COVID-19 than someone with no risk factors. And someone with diabetes has an over seven times greater risk of death. Even hypertension carries with it a more than six times greater risk of death compared to someone with no comorbidities. So if you have any of these conditions, you have to be much more careful. 
it's important for you to observe carefully all the mitigation strategies recommended by the CDC and your local authorities so you never get infected by COVID-19. See our previous videos on wearing a mask and what's better than hand sanitizer. But there's something else you can do about this, which is key fact number five. Before I discuss key fact number five, which will help you resist the virus even if you're exposed to it, please consider spreading the word about this by subscribing to this channel, clicking on the bell for notifications, and click the share button and share it with at least two or three of your friends or family by email or social media. Key fact number five is that virtually all of these conditions that increase your risk of death from COVID-19 can be changed. Think about it. Most of these conditions are reversible or at least can be improved with diet and lifestyle. So now would be a good time to cook at home, eat in a healthy way, and make this time like a home health spa to eat healthy, exercise, lose some weight, and get your blood sugar and blood pressure under control. In other words, use this time to build up your resistance to COVID-19 so that even if you get infected, your symptoms will be mild and you won't need to be hospitalized. In a recent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association, it was found that 88% of those hospitalized had two or more comorbidities or risk factors. Only 6.3% of those hospitalized with COVID-19 had just one comorbidity and only 6.1% had no risk factors. In other words, people who had just one or no risk factors hardly ever get hospitalized. So it'll pay big dividends to reduce your risk factors down to one or none before you get infected. In my health programs, I've been able to help people control their weight, blood sugar, and blood pressure in as little as 10 days. For information on how to do this, see my book at peacediet.org. After all, the threat of COVID-19 is likely to be around for several more months, so you have time to get healthy. And don't forget to see my previous post on 10 ways to boost your immunity against COVID-19 so you can build up your resistance even more. And don't forget the importance of wearing a mask, washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, and physical distancing. Please consider spreading the word about this by subscribing to this channel, clicking on the bell for notifications, click the share button, and share it with at least two or three friends by email and social media. Let's keep each other well informed so we can fight COVID-19 together. This is Dr. Shintani for your health.